Hi everyone, we're going to make a really quick chocolate ganache. So I have a bar of fancy dark chocolate and then I've got a package of cream cheese. You can make a ganache with regular cream or you can make it with cream cheese. This gives it a little bit more of a tang and makes it perhaps um, less uh, overwhelmingly sweet. going to open up this cream cheese now. Um, the thing to remember with melting chocolate and I guess also other things is that you don't want to have too high a heat. So I'm going to put my pan on fairly low heat because we don't want we don't want anything to burn. Nope, let's get that on. Let's try the one behind. Here so a fairly medium heat so that nothing burns. And as I said, I'm just opening up this packet. Let me grab some scissors. So this cream cheese is in a foil packet, which I've never really seen before, but it's always good to learn uh, new things. So we're gonna use a fair bit of chocolate and not very much cream cheese. The ratio should be about two to one. And let's say we're gonna have about three spoons worth of cream cheese. And I'm gonna put that straight into that pan there. I'm gonna let that slowly kind of melt in that pan. I don't want it to melt too quickly. I don't want it to burn. I just want it to slowly, slowly melt. And there are other ways to make ganaches. We are gonna um, open up this chocolate now. So yeah, you can make ganaches in different ways. This is kind of like a quick way. It saves you having to beat things. It saves you having to muddy up lots of utensils. So we've got twice the amount of chocolate that we do have cream cheese. And I'm gonna break that into that same pan. And I'm gonna keep it moving as quickly as possible so nothing gets a chance to burn. Let me show you how that looks. So you can see that the cream cheese is melting. If you have a smaller pan, it's easier, I guess, to mix but um, any size pan will do. We're just stirring that around. And really what we're trying to do here is incorporate the chocolate with the cream. And then once you have this ganache, you can actually do anything with it. You can put it on a cupcake, you can put it on a brownie. And um, what we're really doing is creating a really silky, soft sauce, even though right now it looks uh, a little lumpy. Again, making sure that chocolate doesn't burn because chocolate has a tendency to burn so just taking it off the heat every now and again giving it a swish as I said if you wanted to do this more slowly you could you could certainly um, you could certainly beat it with a proper beater if you have a proper beater so here we go you can see now this is amalgamating Ooh, quite loud. I've got a lovely cream cheese chocolate ganache and now it looks like it's come together i mean it's gonna taste stunning it does just look like goo right now but let me show you how that looks a little bit more close up so we have that cream cheese chocolate ganache and you can put this on ice cream as i said you can put it on cake you can put it on brownies you can put it on a slice of toast really so very quick ganache. So you want a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of cream or cream cheese. And there you go, a gorgeous topping. Enjoy. 